Hello everyone in Cyber World. Welcome back to another video. I'm Jennifer. And I'm Richard. And this is our channel we call Poor Man's DIY. Today we're going to talk about the differences between an inkjet and a laser printer and why we chose the Canon laser printer. So let's get this video started. And if you enjoyed this content, as always, and you haven't subscribed already, click the subscribe button below. And if you're new to the channel, check out some of our other videos. Hopefully they'll be just as entertaining. Now let's get going. Okay, so the big question that a lot of people have is the difference between an inkjet printer and a laser printer. The inkjet printer uses ink as the name itself says. Many of you have probably used inkjet printers many a times where you purchase them and you run out of ink and you go to buy uh, replacement cartridges and they cost so much. A lot of times it costs more than the printer itself. So I have I've heard a lot of people who actually thrown those away and it was easier to buy a new printer and use the, the cartridges that, that it came with even though it's not a, a lot to print with. Uh, it still was cheaper in that way. Uh, now along came laser printers which were primarily used in the office. Uh, laser printers have a lot of benefits where they can print out so much quicker than inkjet printers and they only use toner. Uh, the toner itself is pretty expensive but a single cartridge of toner will last for thousands and thousands of pages depending on the, the type of toner you use and obviously if you're going to print uh, your documents in black and white or if you're going to be use color so and if you're going to do a full page or not uh, it will actually go through much quicker on the toner but the same can be said about ink and inkjet if you use full pages and print out pictures it's going to go through that much quicker unfortunately recently our, our laser printer died on us uh, after so many years and uh, we looked at getting a replacement toner and I uh, thought I would do a little repairs on it, but the more research I did on it, it turns out the uh, toners in this particular model that we have is, is outdated and the price is really steep even for laser toner. So we looked into it and found that the dilemma of inkjet printers has now moved over to laser printers. What I mean by this is you can actually pick up a very inexpensive laser printer of great quality uh, for a reasonable price but we run into the same problem where you have to get replacement toner and the toner is expensive and if you get uh, if you buy several toners it's going to cost a lot more than the printer itself but nonetheless uh, the, the quality of a laser printer is just too good for us to pass up so we, we choose to go with a laser printer we went with this one after doing a bunch of research and we're going to set it up and we're going to also show you uh, how to set it up and the things that we use a laser printer for and to be honest, uh, we're kind of a, um, a paperless family. We, we try not to print at all, but occasionally you run into some uh, need on official documents where they will not allow you to digitally sign or send it through the email or, or on, online. So the company wants something in paper and we print it out. This just works so much better for us. But we also do something for our channel and we actually use a laser printer that most people aren't aware of uh, or they probably prefer to the inkjet printer to do it. But we want to show you that you can do this on a laser printer as well. So we're going to go ahead and show you how we do that. Okay, now that we've removed it out of the box and the styrofoam, the next step is, is to ensure that you remove all the tape. There's a lot of tape that's going to be placed on this unit. It's meant for shipping purposes so things don't move around. So make sure that you look around and open up every part that you can to, to remove these. On the back of the printer is some more tape that we need to remove. And there's one very big piece of tape that's on the inside of the printer that you need to make sure you remove first. The 
this particular unit, it indicates that you must install the software on the computer before you connect it um, by the USB cord here. So they've got it taped out and it's actually covering the USB port to make sure that you don't plug this in first. Okay, the tray itself is set for a different uh, standard. So we want to set this to 8.5, which is the American paper standard. By moving that over, and the tray is ready to go. The next step is to plug the power cord into the printer. As I mentioned before, in order to connect this printer, you first need to install the software. If you have a DVD drive, you place this in, follow the instructions to connect it, and then when instructed to do so, will you plug in the USB cable. However, this printer also has the capability of using Wi-Fi, in which case you don't need that. To connect the printer to Wi-Fi, begin by turning on the printer. When the printer comes on, you will receive instructions step-by-step step on connecting it to a network. You will identify the SSID or the network name that you want to connect to, and you also have to type in the uh, password. Follow the instructions one by one, and it will get you connected. In Windows, go to Printers and Scanners, then click on Add a Printer or Scanner. If you connected the printer to the network properly, the printer will show here. Simply click on it. Next, click the Add Device button. The basic drivers will then begin to install. Then click Open Printer App. A Canon Office Printer Utility will now open. Click on the printer to begin the process. Click on Download Software. This will install the Canon Office Printer software. It will allow you to control your printer from your computer. You can select support options from the printer utility, but the best choice is to use the Remote UI. This is a remote administrative program that connects directly to the printer and allows you to do tons of different settings. You can make numerous changes to your printer from the printer directly, but by using this application, you're able to use your keyboard and type things so much easier. Take a look at all the things that you can actually accomplish here. By editing the paper settings here, we set the default settings for the type of paper and labels that we use. You may need an engineering degree to figure out all these options. Nah, just kidding. We usually are a paperless family, but one of the projects we use the laser printer for is this. Wow. Yes, we print the uh, iron-ons on the laser printer, and then we make our own t-shirts. This is one of our newest designs for DIY, by the way. We've only had the Canon laser printer a short time, but it produces documents very fast, there's no smearing, and the quality of the picture, prime example on the t-shirt, is beautiful. We highly recommend this laser printer. Now, before we finish up, we want to give a little shout out to uh, EJ, our nephew, who recently graduated from college. <laughs> <laughs> EJ is uh, interested in uh, being part of the poor man family, and so this video was edited by EJ. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this one, and we hope uh, we get to use EJ's uh, services for many years to come. All right, next week, we're not quite sure what we're going to do because we have a bunch of classified Christmas projects that we're working on that we can't show you, and we're not going to show you, so there. <laughs> but uh, we, will, we will have another video out next week, so until we meet again, bye-bye.